Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Java 17 specifically focusing on Minecraft as a primary because in my opinion that's what most people who are watching a tutorial on our channel are going to be using Java for. But this will show you how to install Java 17 for other stuff as well. Again though, for this specific video I'm going to be focusing mostly on Minecraft, mods, servers, things like that. So first and foremost, Minecraft 1.18 Plus now requires Java 17. Our website, link in the description down below, it's going to be the second link down below, will go over exactly how to download and install Java 17, as well as give you the correct direct download link to start downloading it. And that's all going to be covered in this video. We're going to go in depth with doing that. First and most though, we do have a smart sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash java to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server with Apex. One of the great things about Apex is you don't even have to worry about Java. It is their responsibility because they are the people who are responsible for the hardware to install Java and make sure Java 17 is working and all of that stuff. So you can check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get that Minecraft server the quickest and easiest way possible. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get Java. Again, the second link down below the breakdown.xyz slash java will take you here once you're here you want to scroll down and click on this yellow download button here click on that yellow download button and it takes you here where you want to make sure you click on windows that's one thing we've been seeing some people struggle with by default it is not on windows you need to make sure you click this little windows button right there then you want to come under x64 installer here so Windows and then click x64 installer scroll over and click on this right here now It's important that you go with the x64 installer not the MSI the x64 installer for me It's in the middle right here click on this purple download link or blue download link to the right and then the download will begin on Java It should be an exe file if it's not that's okay Just discard it and then click on the exe right here once it is kept on Google Chrome in the bottom left or saved in the middle of your screen on Mozilla Firefox we can go ahead and minimize our browser and get this going so we need to find the installer we downloaded for me it's gonna be found in my downloads folder probably is for you as well click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen probably in the bottom left of your screen and then type in downloads you have this downloads file folder here and then in here you will find the Java 17 JDK JDK-17, Java Development Kit-17. Drag this to your desktop if you want for ease of use. It's just easier for me to have it on my desktop. Now we can just go ahead and double click on this and it's going to install like any other program. So it's gonna open up this wizard here, click on next, assuming you agree to, you know, like ULAs and all that stuff, click on next again, and then it's gonna go ahead and install Java 17. Then go ahead and click close. And now it's installed. Java 17 is installed and you're good to go. You can delete the file you downloaded, it's ready to go. To test this, we want to go ahead and again open up the little Windows icon, top left of my screen, probably the bottom left of your screen. Let's type apps for like apps and features here. And then in apps and features, we can scroll down to where we have Java and we should have Java SE Development Kit 17, right? Now, what is whatever's after 17 doesn't matter, right? What matters is that first number should be 17 and it is. So that means we have Java 17. Now, at this point, you might have issues with different things in Minecraft still not working. You still may not be able to open up your Minecraft server. You still may not be able to open up Forge or a Fabric, you know, mod installer or something like that or you may not be able to install Optifine. If that's the case, you need to run the jar fix. This is also linked in the description down below. And what this is gonna do is take all the .jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, basically making them work with Java again. For example, if you have WinRAR or 7-zip or something like that, and that is taking your Java files, your jar files, this will allow you to fix that. This is gonna make those jar files work with, in my opinion, where they should work with Java. And it's gonna link those back together, right like so. It's a quick and easy three-step tutorial that you can find in the description. Just basically download the jar fix and run it. But that is how you can get Java 17 for Minecraft mods and servers and how to get Java 17 for other stuff as well. Java 17 is the most advanced version of Java we have ever seen. And it should be, for the foreseeable future, the version of Java that everyone uses. So we're hoping Minecraft stays on Java 17 for quite a while. Nevertheless, Thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. We hope to get Java, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel for more incredible Minecraft-style content every single day of the week. My name is Nick, this has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.